Good morning, my name is Kim Carlisle and we have a shop full of Heise glassware. We're located just north of Indianapolis, Indiana and our shop is open by appointment only at this time. You might get a pencil and paper handy, we're going to give you our email address in just a minute. If you do want to make an appointment with us, just call, text, or email and you can set up an appointment to come see our shop. This morning's video is the fifth of 12 days of Christmas. Heisey videos. We're running Monday through Saturday this week as well as Monday through Saturday next week for 12 days. Today we'll be going over table number five and case number five. So if you see anything you're interested in, please reference it by table five or case five today. So if you're ready, I'm going to show you my email address. Again, my name is Kim Carlisle. Email is the letter K C A R L. ISL at att.net. Please note there's no E on the end of Carlisle on the email address. If you see anything you're interested in in these videos, we don't have to ship them to you right away. We can save whatever you buy till after the 12 days of Heise videos are over. So we're going to start right back here on table number five. It's a round table today, so it won't take us very long to do this. First item we have is a tricorn mint in $25. This is actually part of the twist pattern. Next we have a Queen Anne tray with Waverly individual creamer and sugars on it and the whole set is $50. Double ribbon panel flamingo basket and it's $95. Have two tumblers. I looked in the book. There are several tumblers with these flutes at the bottom. I couldn't distinguish which one it was. They're marked in the bottom with the diamond dates and they're $25 a piece. You can take one or two. We have a Madonna. It's marked Heise here on the back. It's got a satin finish on it. It's $75. Have a Terrain soda glass in Harvey Amber with narrow optic and it's $45 marked in the center of the bottom. A Terrain water goblet marked at the bottom of the stem and it's $45 and it's in Harvey Amber. We have a Yeoman Goblet here. I don't know what color it is. It doesn't look like Sahara, Marigold, or any other color that Heise made. It's just an odd kind of an amber color. It's $45. It is marked Heise. Empress Dolphin Footed Net Cup, and it's marked $20 in Sahara. Peerless got the pleats around the bottom, and it's a spoon holder. You can put a spoon at this way, and the handle sticks right out of it. It's priced $30. 20th century cobalt soda glass and it's $75. Looks like it's a 63 uh, syrup pitcher. It's got cloister cutting on it marked on the side of the spout. It's got a good handle in it and it's $65. It's got a nice top on it. Have a princess oil lamp and it's $575. Pair of Pluto candle holders and Hawthorne and they're $110 for the pair. Carcassonne cigarette holder, crystal stem and foot, cobalt blue top, and it's $55. Hawthorne mayonnaise ladle, marked in the center of the bottom. It's got a little cutting on the bottom of it, and it's $95. Jack B. Nimble, Nimble single candle holder, marked in the center of the bottom, and it's $8. Lariat 10 and a half inch baskets, it's $125. The 10 and a half baskets have the loops going up the side. The 8 and a half inch basket always just has the loop on the base. This is a straw jar, a celery vase, or a toothbrush holder. It's all three of them in the book, and it's priced $85. Old Williamsburg four small one pint pitcher, and it's priced $95. Medium elephant, priced $135. We have several Alexandrite cups and saucers. There's a cup and saucer here, Alexandrite, very good color in this one, and it's priced $85. We have three sets available like that with the round saucers. Then we have this, it is a footed cup. And once you see the difference between it, there's a foot on there and there's that. This one's right, it's got a wide band here at the top also. And here the fleur de lis go all the way to the top. This is a hard to find cup and saucer here and it's priced $125. Here's a triplex candle holder, just one here and it's $25. Here's a large Heise doorknob, one you normally don't see. It's got a Heise sticker on the top of it. It's priced $85. 
twist two ounce cruet in flamingo. Price $55 and it is clean on the inside. Same cruet in four ounce size, two ounces bigger and it's priced $65. It also is clean inside. Here's a fancy loop potpourri jar. I couldn't find any damage whatsoever on the pattern anywhere. And it's priced $225 and it's got a nice top on it. No damage on it anywhere at all. A Georgian single light can holder and it's $25 if you need one to make a pair. Duquesne's Sherbert Tangerine Bowl, $85. Mother Rabbit fluoresces under a black light is $1,500. Old Sandwich Basket, it's not a whimsy, it's actually a production item. It was made in about 1941, it's $675. Mallard with the wings down, $85. Yeoman, cream soup or bouillon in Hawthorne with a matching plate to it, and it's $35 for the set. Athena, reverse S, two light candle holder. Never mind, this has got a broken socket in it, $6. If you call me, you can have it for nothing. 20th Century Dawn, cream pitcher, and it's $95. Here's a pair of can holders. I can't remember the pattern right now. The pair of them is $75. Nice little cutting. Looked like something from Lewis and Nebuth. The high Diamond H has been cut away, which tells me another company bought this as a blank. Cut it and cut the mark off of it because they didn't want their customers to know where it was coming from. $45. Essex single candle holder, $35. This one's actually got a loan number. This one's actually been in the high Z News at one time or another, and they never took the loan, or in the high Z Museum, they've never taken the loan number off of it. So now you get that, you can say you've got something that came from the museum. Pleat and panel, crystal cruet with a moon gleam top. They actually sold them this way, $30. Same cruet and flamingo, clean on the inside, $45. Beaded panel and sunburst, jug, very good condition. Couldn't find any damage on it whatsoever. Nice, nice handle on it, good and clear, $175. Moongleam, duck, ashtray, $75. Got a little R on it, it's been repaired someplace. Same thing in Flamingo, $95. Plantation cruet, $38. 50 cents higher than they normally are. Here's a Daisy 9 inch candle holder. It's only a single, $125. Rooster stem cocktail with a frosted, Rooster Chantelier cocktail with a frosted stem and head on it, $30. I have two of them here that are not frosted and they're $15 a piece. Elect Langdon, Save America. He ran for the president one year. Heisey was a big backer of him. Here's a plate for $145. Here's a Revere cup with the same thing. It's got his face and Elect Landon written on it. And the cup is $55. Two piece duck flower frog and flamingo, $245. The duck lifts out. There you can put your flowers in the holes. Crystallite basket, $165. Peerless, got the pleats going around the bottom. It's a syrup, it's got the original top on it and it's $45. Spanish Cordial, Barcelona Cut, $85. A single Trident, Alexanderite, two light can holder, $350. Used to be a pair, but I broke one. Here's a measuring cup. This measuring cup is only $350, no problems with it. Here's a Duquesne Oyster Cocktail. It's $110. Here's Duquesne Soda Glass a Tangerine, $85. Here's an Epern. It's got a little damage on it, a couple of little chips here and there on it. And with these Eperns, you generally have to put a piece of paper in between these posts because they just lean one way or the other. Here it is. Just the way it sits, it's $325. Here's a Jamestown Bell with a very pretty little daisy cutting all the way around it. 
and it's $85. Original bells have a diamond point drill where they drill in through the body and they put a little post in there with some plaster paris, hang a chain and a bell on it. There's a little colonial, looks like a 359 cordial and it's $12. This is table number five. Now we're gonna go over to case number five. Back in the corner. I'm gonna dim all the lights so you can see the case better. We're gonna start at the top right corner. We have a flamingo petticoat dolphin fitted comport. It has very nice gold decoration all the way around the top. $165. Sahara Ipswich Crit, $525. Spanish Tangerine Cocktail Glass, $165. Pair of Cobalt Blue 9 inch Horn of Plenty's, and they're $165 a piece. Have a ribbed octagon cobalt blue rum pot, no stopper in it, but it's six thousand seven hundred and fifty dollars. On each side of that are two Jose Cafe one and a half ounce cordials with the victory etch. There's two different victory etches. One of them's flowery, one of them has an eagle. These have the eagles on them. And then we have a pair of Trident Alexandrite two light candle holders for seven hundred and seventy-five dollars a piece. A Fair Acre Flamingo Perfume Bottle, $135. Then we have the same Fair Acre Clear Perfume Bottle, but it's in clear this time. Clear is much harder to find than Flamingo, and it's $225. Most of the perfumes that time were made in color. Now we're going to go to the other end of the case. We have a Revere Alexandrite Cup. Candy dish and cover for $1,250. An Oxford cordial, just plain, $25. An Oxford cordial on the left-hand side with Victoria cutting, $100. Very unusual cutting you find on it. And a Symphone cordial with crinoline etch for $60. Then we have a Moongleam, half circle, creamer and sugar, $125 for the pair. Back behind that, we have a Lariat 12 and a half inch swung vase with orchid etch on it for $375. In front, we have a Emerald Green Fancy Loop rectangular bonbon with gold decoration, $35. Then we have a Donna pitcher, and on each side of the pitcher, we have Donna tumblers, and the tumblers are $25 a piece, and the Donna orchid etch pitcher is $165. We have a Twist Flamingo Mustard, Paddle, Cover, and Underplate, all priced to go at $165. Emerald Drain Pineapple and Fan Toothpick Holder with some gold on it, and it's $145. Banded Flute Match Holder and Cover with a striker on top, $145. Horse, coarse Rib Hawthorn Creamer and Sugar with the lid, is $150. And then we have a pair of Dolphin 110 candle holders in Flamingo at $375. And this is not good Flamingo. This is an orangey color of Flamingo. Down on shelf number three, case number five, have a Circus Etch Lion Tamer's Biddle Bottle for $125. Have a Spanish Cordial, Barcelona Cut for $85. To the right of that is a Duquesne Cordial with Continental Cutting for $95. And to the left of that is a Jamestown Cordial with Barcelona Cut for $85. Back behind the Cordials is an Old Sandwich Moon Gleam Ketchup Bottle with a crystal stopper. That's the way they're supposed to come. It's $550. Then we have six Golfer Edge Sodas on the number 603 blank, and they're all marked and they're $125 a piece. We have a Moon Gleam Steel Rose Bowl Diamond Optic, $65. Pair of Sahara Mercury Candle Holders, $45. A Flamingo Steel Vase for $110. 
And then we have a sweet scroll match holder in opal novelty wear, $225 marked on the bottom as well as a mold number marked on it. We have a 489 cup perfume with the long drip stopper, $75. Ipswich candle vase with the prisms, no insert, $375. And then we have a 4057 cruet with the original cut stopper in it, and it's $135. Down below that, case number five, shelf number four, we have a 516 tumble up set. Usually these are called 517. They made them in two sizes. They made them in a one quart, which is a 517. They made them in a two quart or a half gallon, which is 516. And it's $75. We have a Flamingo Narrow Flute Individual Creamer and Sugar for $65. Sleepy Knot Box Ashtray, one of the ears on the box has been chipped off. It's $65. Three Cobalt 20th Century Soda Glasses, $65 a piece. Have a Plantation Cup and Saucer, $15. Flamingo Helmet Basset with Windsor Cutting on it, $975. Hartman candy and cover with a cutting on the cover and on the base, $115. Then we have a two-piece flower arranger, or the book calls it Vogel Book Number Two, page 28. It says it's a low two-piece base. It's $350. The plate that goes onto this is a very, very thick plate, and right in the middle of the plate there is uh, some carbon in there, so there's an infraction in there also. It's $350. We have a frosted goose stopper at $45, a continental toothpick on the right for $65, a pillows toothpick holder with good gold for $75, and then we have a beaded panel and sunburst cracker jar for $175. On the bottom shelf, we have, let's go to the right, Pam. We have a standing pony that's marked for $25, a rearing pony for $65, a banded picket basket with a cutting for $45, a picket fence basket with the unusual mums decoration on it for $145. Then we have a 4230 cobalt favor vase for $185. Moonglean pleat and panel water pitcher with the eye slip, $225. Then we have an 11 inch plantation plate with a center ring on it that actually sits up like a mayonnaise dish so it can hold a little fruit cocktail. Very unusual piece here in that 11 inch plate, $175 for the set. Then there's a plantation short candy jar and this lid has the leaves on it and it's priced $45. Okay, then we have an optic tooth water pitcher with a moon gleam handle and a moon gleam foot. And I forgot to write down the price on that. Can you read it, Pam? $3.95. $3.95. Then we have a moon gleam, a flamingo, and an empress, dolphin foot and nut cups. Each one of them are $14 a piece. Then in the back, we have a narrow flute basket with Barberry etching on it, it's $4.75. A plug horse for $15. And a recessed panel basket with a high Z etching on it, and it is $45. Now that concludes our video for today. If you see anything you're interested in, you can call, text, or email us. Thank you very much, and we'll have another video on Saturday morning at eight o'clock.